because this has been going on for so long. And in case you're wondering, I recorded yesterday's episode today. Oh no, this is the final floor, but I don't like it. Oh man. It's not the final floor? What? This is definitely deserving of a final floor. This is... This is a man at legs. How is this not the final floor? We're on sub-level 13. <laughs> what the... What the lettuce? What the carrot? What the refrigerator? What the... Man at leg? You? Okay, well we're facing a man at legs with water in the middle. I am definitely going to be permalocking this thing up with bitter spray. Why am I, why am I looking for buried treasure? What am I doing? All right, so what I'm doing is, I guess, <laughs> drowning everyone. <laughs> yes. I guess I'll hide them over there. There's no cover. There's really no cover. So who do I not want to die? And who, who, and what mistakes am I going to be learning from? Learning from? Excuse me. Uh, purples, I don't want. I don't want to f use purples here. Because I tried them out once, and they didn't work. The guide recommends it. But it's not a good idea. So, I think just the primary colors? Are these? No, they're not primary colors. Actually, they are primary colors, right? Right? Because green is a com- Yeah, they're primary colors. So what am I doing here? I don't... Do I want 65? I don't want 65. That's That seems excessive. Let's... Let's drop... Let's take some of the yellows, some of the... Them. Throw... Some of them there. And then... Separate them into really concise groups. So that if need be, I can whistle them and, and get them back. So, there. And then also, all of our eggs aren't in one basket. Alright, so the president will be handling this. We also need one blue. Son of a... I was going to say gun, but I, I want to come up with something interesting. Son... Actually, no, son of a gun works, to be fair. Even though the origin of that is kind of sketchy. Alright, so one blue. Man at Legs time, part two. This is really just the redemption cave. There we go. And now, here we go. Man at Legs. Start off with a nice spray. And this time, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to wait for him to attack first. Just to get a, a rhythm. No, don't go over there. Don't go over there. There you go. Just look at me. There you go. Gun? <laughs> Gun? No, don't go over there. Don't go over there. Gun? <laughs> gun? Please, gun. Also, I noticed that he has actually has a front to him. There we go. He actually has a front to him, if you notice that. Uh, his front, his back is actually currently to us, so he'll have to turn around. Watch. His front is where there's like a, an L shape. There we go. He's turning around. There's there's the L shape. And then he moves back. No. No. Notice I did not bitter spray him. Because I know better now. I know better now. I, I have time to dodge. It's not impossible to dodge. Alright, get over the thing. He's going to run away. And then he's going to run back. And then pull out his gun again. I'm gonna get a little bit further away this time. Gun? Alright, no. I need him to be over me, though. Gun? He's turning around. He's gonna try out the gun this time. There we go. Got some damage. Got some damage. I'm being patient. There's no reason for me to rush. I mean, now there's a reason for me to rush, but it's not that bad. I, I just need to bide my time. I don't think he heals. A lot of enemies heal, but I don't think he does. 
I don't even think I need sprays. He's gonna walk away. Please don't walk towards... I think he always focuses the active captain, so I don't need to worry. He's gonna rest. Come on, buddy. I'm going to throw Pikmin here for when he gets in position. Good damage. Gun? Gun. See? I just need to be patient. You tripped, and you shouldn't have tripped. Whew! I'm, t I'm being calm. I mean, maybe this isn't as exhilarating as you'd like it, but <laughs> I had my fill of exhilaration last time around. Now's the time for cool-headed pal. Besides, I know that this isn't the final floor, so I'm not done after this. Gun? There it is. Yeah, he's, he's starting to follow a pattern. Actually, last time we faced him, you guys were a bit puzzled because he, he broke pattern a couple of times, apparently. He broke a set pattern that's supposed to happen every single time, which is one reason why I, I was so scared of him, I guess. Because I, I wasn't able to predict what he was going to be doing. What is he? Okay, he just broke pattern here. Yeah, he, he just broke pattern a little bit. And... Okay, good. Get him out of the water, get him out of the water. And run away with him. I have not lost a single Pikmin thus far. I am facing up to my childhood fears. Also, it's really weird because you can see a mem like a little bit of a membrane separating when he opens up. And remember, this guy's actually calm. Like, he doesn't want to kill Pikmin, which is odd. It's, it's really odd, because he, he really doesn't want to kill any of the Pikmin. He has no reason to, because he doesn't need food, because he's a machine. But the gun wants to, which is odd. He's one of the more interesting enemies. He's also one of the most memorable for me, because he reminds me of The Incredibles. And I guess also... Oh, no, 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 this is bad, this is bad. Oopsie. Okay, he's breaking pattern. That's fine. But he reminds me of the Incredibles. He also reminds me vaguely of the Guardians from Breath of the Wild. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't let him get far enough on land. Alright, he's going to shoot me. I was tempted to actually break cover just to make this more exciting, but I I really have no interest to. Interest to. We're, we still have one sub... Uh, well, we still have sub-levels to go. I'm not sure if this is the second to last one. I feel like it would be. Oh, he broke pattern immediately. Hello. He's going to make it more exciting for me. I'm guessing that's uh, that's set off by him being at low health. In which case, I do not want to take any risks. Okay, he can't shoot me. He definitely broke pattern, though. That was interesting. He just immediately pulled out that gun and wanted to kill me. Maybe now he's, he's trying to fight back because he knows that he's dying. Whoa, man. He can reach so far with that arm. I'm not sure if it stretches or if he just... If he just extends it. Like, that's... Really cool. Oh, 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 oh. Gun? No. No gun. No gun this time. He has no interest to pull out that gun. Uh... No gun again! He's going to run away. Then he's going to run towards me. I'd, I probably won't be able to kill him this time. Maybe, actually... Yep, I did it. I did it. Woo! I didn't get to see it. That's sad. I, I was trying to get a nice, long view of it. Well, he's down. And I didn't lose a single Pikmin. I didn't even take damage. That was a good fight. Also, I would have been really sad if I didn't have blue Pikmin to carry that away. I would have had to do this over again. And that would stink. That would really stink. Also, do I have enough blues? Yeah, I haven't. I definitely have enough. I should hope so. Yeah, okay. Alright. Who's ready for the last cavern? I am. I am definitely ready. I am recording this the same time, or the, in the same batch that I'm re I recorded the last cave that we went into. So I've been recording for a good four hours, I think. So I'm definitely ready to leave. I'm ready to go record Breath of the Wild now because I'm doing that immediately after. I, I like to record them both at the same time just to get them out of the way. 
And also, this is the first time I've ever really done proper batches. I, I believe at some point in this series, I was a month ahead of my of schedule, which is great. But it's not something that is normal for me. All right, we're heading into the last sub level, please. If it's not the last sub level, then it's definitely ending on sub level 15 because this is ridiculous, and I, they wouldn't exceed 15, right? Right? Please, no. All right, so we've been here before in this cavern, I think. It's kind of hard to remember. It's so long. Dweevils. I feel like there's a beady long leg somewhere around here. And I also wish I had kept around that Boldman. Purples, I could use the purples to insta-kill the non-electric ones. Yeah, wait, where is it? Okay, so I'm about to hit, hit the guy. So I don't want that to happen. Uh, let's focus down the electric dweevils. Uh, with Olimar? No, if it were with Olimar, he'd probably set him off. This is dangerous. I'm going to have to take out what I assume is a BD Longlegs. I, my memory tells me that I'm right there. So I'll take out the BD Longlegs without ever touching the vol the uh, the electric weevils. So if they're all in a group, they won't attack it. So BD Longlegs time? Maybe? Buddy? Where is it? It's near me. I'm under it. But where is it? Maybe it triggers when I've defeated all of the Dweevils? What? Ugh. Okay, I'm being dumb. I'm being incredibly dumb. Olimar's literally... I, I keep saying literally. He's about to die! Get... No! No, no, no. Alright. So that's done. <sighs> dweevils are annoying. Especially the, the electric dweevils. No! There he is! There he is. Please step on that spider for me. Please step on him. Step on him? Ah. Okay, so we're going to have to take this out with... Out Olimar, because he is low on health. Dangerously low on health. And I'd like to take it out as quickly as possible just to avoid risk. So let's just do this. And... He is dead. All right. <laughs> uh, I think that was easier. I'm pretty sure that was easier than actually taking it out with purple Pikmin. It's a really easy boss. Wow. All right. So I don't even think I needed a spicy spray there. I definitely didn't need to go to the trouble of killing every single Dweevil in the the building in the in the room. Uh. Fond gyro block. Is that the last one? Okay, that's the last treasure here. So Olimar took a lot of damage for no reason. And I almost accidentally skipped the floor. So let's go deeper with our Pikmin to the last sub level. Please? The pi even the Pikmin won it. Sub level 15. Hold beasts. Is it the last? Oh, this better be the This is the last floor. Please. Certainly it is. Just, it's time to stop. No more. Where are your parents? Ah. But it is the final floor. It, it better be. It's, it's 15 stinking floors. And I remember. Oh, I remember this area. All right. So we'll do that. I didn't tell you guys you could do that. Let's break this down too. And we're definitely separating out our captains because... I'd rather reduce the risk of them both taking fatal damage. And if one falls, then it's fine, because I have another one. Uh, I'll probably take reds and purples. Flower who I can. Which is, which are two Pikmin. Reds and purples are kind of my go-to group. 
Although, there's something to be said for yellows and purples, which I should take just to take down this, the jelly floats. Yeah, come here. There you go. Come to me. Come to me. Really, you are, you're tough. You're tough, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. But I have been through so much to get here. I have 100 Pikmin, don't look at that. I've been through a lot, okay? Don't trigger the boss, where whatever or wherever it is. I assume it's in the middle of the room. Okay, it's dead. Just going to move around gently. Take it out. Because they're, they're trying to make me just walk into the middle of the room. I am not a noob. I, I have seen that trick before. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, and I'm not going to do it because there's a reason why they have jelly floats in here. It's to make your life miserable if the, when the boss comes. Alright, so you guys can take it out fairly easily. Bring it down again, and alright, so I'm ready to face the boss now. Except I'll need reds. And it's right in the middle of the room. So let's go grab my reds. I almost accidentally spawned it. And let's go fight this thing. Who will be the the thing that caps off this brilliant, brilliant cave? I, I do enjoy the cave, even though it ha if it has dragged on quite a bit. I, I have enjoyed it a lot. No, no, no. Honey. There we go. And I am interested to see how this... How this is going to be finalized. So, this is a bit too big of a group. 35 is usually my sweet spot, but I, I think I know what enemy this is. Which means I should probably trigger it manually myself. Whoa! There it is! The raging... Not ranging. Long legs. You can see how much of a surface area its feet take up, which really give it a sense of scale and a menace to it. Oh, I was going to say it moves slow, but no, it does not. I can see why it has the name Raging. Can I just defeat it like this? I, I think I remember this enemy being easy, but this is... Okay, social experiment time, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Can I defeat it by throwing enemies, or by throwing Pikmin at its legs? Bear, yes I can. In fact, you know what, let's make that a tradition here on Pal Plays. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, good. Get out of the way, get out of the way. It's, it doesn't even rage either when that happens. It's starting to smoke. Woo! I didn't expect that leg to move. Oh. Now, in case you're wondering how I'm timing the the throws, I, I uh, make sure that if the, okay if the leg just moved, then that means that three other legs have to move before it will move again. All right, it's almost dead. But this is a good tradition, and it's a way to make it a little bit more challenging. Because as I remember, he's really easy to defeat. Okay, will this be enough? Oh! It was. It was. And it opens up and reveals what the gyros were referring to. It's Rob! It's Rob's head. Rob survived. Good old Rob. And once again, this is not an upgrade to anything. Because we're in the Wistful Wild. Upgrades have come and gone. Now, while we haven't gotten every upgrade, there's there's still no upgrades to be had in the Wistful Wild. Alright, let's get our Rob head. Oh man. Good old Rob. Now, at the time, think of American kids. Come to think of it. Uh, remembered old buddy. American kids wouldn't 
wouldn't be likely to know who this is because at this time the most recent Smash game was Melee, and I did, I'm not even sure if it had come out yet. So Rob was nowhere to be seen in popular media. So people would actually remember this guy from way back in the day, or not, and wonder what it was alluding to. So remembered old buddy. Good way to end off the whole of Heroes, even if this battle wasn't that difficult. It was still memorable, and I, I'm continuing the tradition of killing enemies, or killing bosses instantly with Purple Pikmin. And we're leaving this cave with 100 Purple Pikmin. Awesome. I am happy with that. This was a good cave? Let's remember it and exit it as memorably as we entered. With what, like 8 seconds left on the timer? Actually, no, that was a different day. Once again, these are kind of going together. And our our Pocos are adding up, man. They are adding up. We have technically 145% of the debt completed. The president must be beaming right now. All right, let's wait for Totaka. No, let's just, let's just move on. Let's end the day. Uh, maybe get some more sprays. Go back to the Wistful Wild. Wow, this was, this has been quite the adventure, and that cave was great. Alright, so let's put away all of our Pikmin but white. And let's get a few more sprays while we're at it. And also see what we've gained. Actually, no, we haven't gained any Pikmin today, right? Yeah, we haven't gained any. Because we, we lost Pikmin in the cave, but we also gained back up to 100. Honestly, I, I said that the- oh wait, more whites. I said that the game was going to get harder, or more difficult, and it has, but I've been handling it pretty well, I, I think. I mean, we we did lose Pikmin, we lost, what, 13 in that cave, but we also gained them back, and for the most part, I was safe with what I was doing. There were a couple times when I just went in, but for the most part, whenever there were areas that were difficult for me to handle, I would- I mean, A, use the time skip technique, but also, I would handle it patiently and, and sensibly. I think, I think I've done well in this game. Alright, so let's get some more, uh, mold. Let's get some more berries to end off this day with more lag, which, which is great. It also makes a really weird noise when it comes out of the ground. <sighs> wow, there's nothing really to be said. Well, actually, no, there is. Uh, I would like to remind you of what's happening next episode. I, I would say tomorrow, as I normally do, but it won't be tomorrow. Uh, it will be uh, two weeks from now in in game time, not not a uh, not like real time. It'll, the schedule will not change at all. I'm just in the adventure. We're going to be doing a bit of time skipping of our own. Because there, there are certain things that can't be seen on certain days, and these days are those days. Uh, once day 30 rolls around, more stuff starts happening, enemies will start appearing, and so I'm going to be tomorrow skipping over today. Wait, make sure. No stragglers, no stragglers. I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to be skipping forward 15 days in order to be able to witness those things. We're also not going to be going back to the Wistful Wild for a while because now there's only one cave left in the Wistful Wild and it's right there. It's right there. So that means there's one cave left in every single major area of the game that we have yet to complete. Which means I will be giving every single area a finale. Okay, this is all... Yeah, okay. It is. I'll be giving every single area a finale of its own. So tomorrow, we're going to be going back to the Valley of Repose on day 30. And we're going to be going to the Frontier Cavern. The final, the final cave of the area. Giving it a proper farewell. Now, also, in between today and the next time we meet 
I will also be doing the much needed farming that I, I have to do, which means you'll be seeing me with 100 purple Pikmin. Uh, I'll have some more sprays, probably ultra bitter sprays, uh, but otherwise I, I won't be changing our spray count that much, but I will be changing our purple count since we need 100 purple Pikmin in order to complete the game. And now, there are four days left in our adventure that I'll be showing. Since we're going to be completing every single area in that in a, a day's time. Wow, we have officially reached the end game. And while I have a lot more, or there are a lot more episodes that I have yet to record. Also, that's that's funny. The, the counts changed, like they went down and stuff, but we didn't lose any, which is funny. But there are, there's a lot more episodes that are going to be released of Pikmin, but we're still officially in the endgame. There's only one day left in every major area. Also, we've lost almost 200 Pikmin in this adventure, which is living proof, or not living proof, that I play this where it lies, and if I lose Pikmin, I lose Pikmin, and that is it. Unless it affects my ability to complete a cave, I lose those Pikmin. And also, the game is melting. <laughs> I, I need to clear off... Uh, storage space before I record another episode. <laughs> Olimar, you've worked so hard. Your special bonus arrived today. This is a first, right? I bought, I bought the kids a few things they've been wanting. They were so happy, and so was I. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today any, in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm also let's playing. <sighs> Luigi's Mansion Breath of the Wild. I almost, I did it actually again. I don't know why I keep saying that. Luigi's Mansion Breath of the Wild, uh, Zelda. It's actually Zelda. And our new episodes of that are released every Monday and Wednesday. So, join me next time where we will be going to the Valley of Repose and entering the Frontier Cavern. See you guys! Not tomorrow, but in two weeks of in-game time. Bye! Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Whoa! Um... Hello? Fwahaha. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. <laughs> Phil number one! <laughs> This is my eternal quest. Okay, I'm, you all I'm gonna film. do this and then go see the monster. It's a trap! Yes! I took six damage. <laughs>